Thanks for joining us today. We're here at the Mobile World Congress 2016 Innovation Center. Your VP of Security for AT&T. What does that job entail? Yes, that entails securing IoT, cloud, mobile, basically all of our products and services for our customers. It's my job to help protect our customers. Talk a bit about your background, how you evolved from the Army into this type of role. <laughs> yeah, so I was in the Army, uh, went to West Point, and then uh, was an armor officer for five years, had tank platoon, mortar platoon, and uh, and then uh, came to work for AT&T, and I've had uh, a bunch of different roles, operations roles, marketing roles, uh, but I've basically run large portions of our, of our network. So whether it was our mobility network or our uh, or UVerse, um, I've run all those aspects. And so part of that in, in to, included securing those, uh, right. those different networks and capabilities. And so, uh, went ahead and, and migrated that over into this role where I'm uh, securing all of our customers' businesses. So talk about some of the specific challenges and, and maybe compare and contrast, say, securing drive from your Domain 2.0 initiative. Yeah, absolutely. So securing IoT and, and drive is, uh, is a very unique uh, architecture, as you can imagine. Scale's really the biggest difference. But even as you look at something like a uh, connected car, we work very closely with the uh, with the manufacturers of the vehicle, and and we're a, a part of their solution, right? Uh, what we can do is we can segment traffic to help make sure we isolate, say, telematics from the infotainment within that car, mm -hmm. so that you can uh, make sure that what's communicating the start and stop of the vehicle, um, you know, is separated from anything that might be going out over the open internet. That allows you to uh, put additional controls over that. We can also do things like private APNs and private SMS user groups to make sure we're controlling those IoT endpoints. Uh, we even uh, can do things where uh, we just announced a proof of concept with Bayshore where uh, we're experimenting putting controls in so that even though it's a trusted source and destination, we can really get into the packet and, and look at the command that's going to that robot or that car and make sure it's not a malicious or inadvertent uh, physical safety type right. issue for that. So, so those are things and it ties really, really nicely to our Domain 2.0 and our software defined networking because as you're addressing scale in IoT, you're gonna to wanna to put your protections as close to those endpoints as you can and as close to the control unit as possible. And so by virtualizing our security capabilities and making, making them uh, deployable, whether it's on our network cloud, in a public cloud, in a private cloud, any of those environments, we can uh, we can protect those devices much uh, much better because we're so close to them. So, Jason, when you talk about the virtualization, uh, AT&T has an issue uh, domain 2.0. What does a container mean, and how do you how do you secure these containers and really create a distributed uh, 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 a security solution? Yeah, absolutely. So, virtualization is really pivotal in securing cloud assets. Um, you know, public cloud, private cloud. Uh, it's really critical, and we've had customers come to us and say, look, I've got one application that straddles three clouds. I've got my, uh, my website or my front end in, the, uh, in Azure, I've got my compute in uh, Amazon, and then I've got my data in a private VMware cloud. And so what we're able to do is go into that cloud and put basically on the virtual machine right next to the virtual machine running the application or storing the data, we're able to put a, a firewall capability, intrusion prevention, data loss prevention, right next to that virtual machine so that you can wrap that uh, virtual machine or that application in its own unique uh, container, if you will. So what that does is gives us tremendous advantage because the adversary, as they're coming in, they're not constantly, uh, hit, they don't get past the, the uh, perimeter and now just be able to kind of go throughout the environment. Now they have to unlock every unique door, every unique uh, environment, and they're all different. They, you know, we, if HTTP doesn't need to be open for an application, we can shut it for that specific application. 
So it's critical, but the other thing it does for us, software-defined networking in all these clouds, is it allows us with our platform, as we identify, it, uh, isolate a new signature, a new, a new threat vector and a new threat signature, we can then update policy and push that policy ubiquitously mm -hmm. throughout the, uh, wherever the cloud assets are. So that customer who has their application spread, we can now give a, a, a uniform policy update, which puts the CISO at ease because before they were taking analysts offline uh, hours to go update and each, un each environment right. was unique. Now, with ours, we can wrap that application with a consistent, uniform policy to make sure it's as secure as possible. Okay. Who are some of your key um, partners in your ecosystem provide security solutions across all these different layers? Yeah, so uh, Fortinet is a, is a big uh, player for us in, in the security aspect. I mentioned Bayshore is another yeah. one that we're leveraging. We have, a, with our ability in the foundries to constantly find new technologies, we're constantly rolling out the newest technologies, the best in breed, whether it's a pure, pure play or, or if it's an integrator of some kind. We'll, we bring those players together to be able to go uh, solve whatever unique challenges that are out there. Okay. What are you most excited about at this year's show? This year's show, well, this year's show is all about IoT, uh, you know, and it seems to be that's the hot topic for us. And IoT, I look at as a is a great way for us to showcase our uh, our secure connections. You know, the ability to secure those connections from the endpoints through connectivity to the data in the cloud, uh, and wrap that really with our threat platform, where we have unparalleled visibility and the ability to you know, detect what those adversaries are doing uh, much more quickly and be able to respond to it. So at, at the end, it's really IoT and securing IoT and how we're stepping up and leading in that direction. Well, final, final question. You talked earlier about your enterprise customers mm -hmm. sometimes existing on a lot of different clouds. Yeah. Does AT&T offer a security as a service kind of platform to uh, your cu enterprise customers? Yeah, so we do. Uh, our security solutions are all a part of our platform. We have a platform that starts with our uh, big data analytics. So we feed all of our uh, unique, uh, whether it's a Fortinet firewall or, or a Palo Alto firewall or Bayshore, we bring all of those things into our uh, big data threat platform mm -hmm. so that we can do cross correlation across what was previously what I call data islands where you couldn't really uh, correlate between the intrusion prevention and the you know, Bayshore firewall. Those would have been unique or separate places. Now we combine that with our NetFlow data, uh, with our DNS, so now we can cross correlate with machine learning, be able to identify these things, these anomalies very quickly. Uh, we can identify exfil, behavioral differences. So it all starts with that threat platform, but when you add in our software-defined networking, now we've got a unique ability to not only detect what the adversary is doing, but respond rapidly, because we can push out those policy changes to all of those distributed firewall capabilities uh, near real time. And you're offering that as a service to your enterprise That's customers. That's right, as a service, as a managed service to our customers. Great. Thanks for your time. Yeah, absolutely, thank you.